but generally praise is, is not a good thing. We have a, in our culture we have the disease of self-esteem. This idea that you have to praise people. When I was a kid, you, they had, um, when, when you went like in a contest, like I used to be in, in uh, uh, do different contests, uh, but you always had first place, second place, and third place. So even if you had 100 kids, there were only three that were going to win a prize. Maybe you get honorable mention. Now everybody goes home with a trophy. I'm serious. Like it shocked me because our son studied uh, martial arts and we would go and we went to these martial arts contests and they would they'd get a trophy for losing. <laughs> it really bothered me. I, I just, because what it does is it, it, there's no, it just, encourages mediocrity and you want you want democracy in a culture uh, it's it's a good thing to have people involved in the politics but in in those things that demand talent you don't want uh, democracy you don't want everybody getting up and reading their poems this is what YouTube does everybody becomes a singer you know American Idol uh, all these people that want to really uh, do, it's just tragic, it's just so tragic. And, and this idea that we have to praise them and clap and no, 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 it's good and you know, it has self-esteem and you don't, right? No, it really, it encourages people uh, to, uh, to create the kind of culture that we're living in. <laughs> You know, the, Turkey was a culture of excellence. Ihsan, itqan. If you want, you know, calligrapher. I showed today, uh, we had a calligrapher, and I showed him some calligraphy that was done. Uh, so, and he, he was just like, he didn't even look at it. He couldn't look at it. He just, he just, look, he just put, <laughs> and it was like painful. And it's like having Yasha Heifetz. You know, and then you bring out your violin and kind of squeak a few notes out. Which is not to say that people need to learn. They start somewhere. But you don't want them performing when they don't know anything. And this is what the culture preserves. I remember one night we, we had this poetry reading thing years ago. And people got up and read all these poems. Some, some people wrote poems like a few minutes before they went up and they were horrible. One after another, it was just terrible poems. And, and uh, I remember Dr. Winter, he just said, you know, it'd be better if they memorized a good poem and recited it. That's what people used to do. They used to memorize poems they loved and then they would recite them. And so, um, anyway. So, Praising people is not a good thing, generally. It's just not a good thing. Even people that warrant praise, it's not a good thing to praise people. And, it, you know, this, this, our tradition is about self-effacement. It's about getting rid of the ego. It's not about inflating the ego. And we've got monsters walking around with inflated egos. Prima donnas, dilettantes, all these uh, horrible uh, people that cause, I mean, there's, there was an American folk singer uh, who said that talent is never an excuse for bad manners. You know, just because you're talented doesn't mean you have the right to treat people badly. And, and there's a lot of people that that's what happens. They become very good at something, everybody praises them all the time, and then they become tyrants. Especially if it happens from the time they're little. It's a terrible thing to do to a child. And I would recommend reading Tolstoy's What is Art. It's really, it's one of his later works. It's not a long work, but he talks about how dreadful it is. What we do to children by making them work really hard to become uh, masters at ballerinas or... Uh, concert pianist or whatever and then they're there for a certain class of people as objects of amusement and then they praise them 
So, uh, and then he says, unless it's to avoid the harm, and the Prophet said, mentioned that, that sometimes you have to do that, and, th and that's a manduha to get out of, of that. So there are times when it's only to avoid something. Bidini mamduhan aw al muzikki ka'ijbin aw tanafuqin aw ifki. And then also, uh, 